Okay, people, I'm gonna do a review on Onion Gang. Well, Steven, Steven hangs out with Onion's group of friends, basically. They do a little bit of, they do a little bit of this and that, you know, kid stuff, hanging out with them. They freaking, this is the most funniest thing in the whole episode. They basically get inside an overcoat and, uh, you know, pretend to be an adult just to flash this dude, which... They flash this dude with a camera, so they don't think they were like, Oh, yeah, you want to see these little onion bodies? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it was actually pretty, it was actually pretty fun because, you know, it proved to me, it, well, it proved my point that onion, you know, I said this in a video before, but, uh, I don't think a lot of people remember it. Uh, I, you know, it said, like, just because we see onion do a whole bunch of stuff, we don't know what's going on up here since he doesn't speak. But, in this episode, we really got to see, we really got to see Onion, you know, being, being a kid, you know, having friends, having fun. You know, and Steven kind of coming to the realization he doesn't have a lot of friends. You know, he hangs, you know, Onion hangs out with him because, yeah, he does consider Steven a friend, even though he creeps, he creeps Steven the fuck out every chance he gets. But he still has, you know, he still likes to basically, you know, he still likes to hang out with Steven, you know, and Steven was like, you know, Steven was basically like, because they're like, they're bug racing, and, uh, you know, if you, like, me and my friends, when I was, when I was a little, when I was a little, when I was a little chaos lord, we used to, we used to have, uh, we used to have, like, little praying mantises fight each other for our amusement. Don't ask us how we did that. That was so awesome, though. But not even the point. Um, you know, but Steven, you know, like, they were racing bugs, and his bug won, so they were like, they gave him a hammer, he was about to smash it, they were like, no, I can't, I can't smash this bug, you know, bugs are gross, but I can't, I can't just kill it. You know, Steven, you know, like I said, Steven, like I always said, there's a lot of parallels between Steven and Frisk. You know, being he's he's a straight up pacifist, but only fighting when he needs to. So he wouldn't necessarily kill a bug, which kind of makes sense. And that's why he ran out. It's like, I can't do this. And then he tried to talk to his other, you know, tried to talk to his Connie and all the other. He tried to talk to Connie, you know, kind of going back to school shopping. You know, doing that sort of thing. You know, Brigham Steve was like, uh, I really have no friends. And then Onion come busting through the door. Actually bust through his door. Like little, it's like a little screen door. So he, he, he freaking goes, he goes. He's like, you know, he's like, come, you know, he's like gesturing, you know, come with me, come with me. And Steven's like, no, you, you, you know, you have your friend, you have, you know, your group of friends. And they understand, you guys understand each other even, even though you don't even talk. He's like, you only, you only friends of me because you pity me, right? And then, you know, he goes like, go, go Onion, and then he leaves, but he leaves the bug that didn't get smashed. He's like, oh, snap, what? The winner of the bug race. I gotta, I gotta go. And then, you know, his friend, Onion's, uh, friends only come during the summer to uh, hang out with Onion. And when they, uh, you know, when summer's over, they gotta go. And, yeah, I kind of understand the feeling. I kind of understand the feeling uh, behind that. Because, you know, I have, a, you know, I have a lot of friends and only a few of them I still kind of keep in touch with. Only a few. Some of them I actually forgot their numbers or some. I only talk to every now and again when I'm on Facebook. You know? I used to have a, I used to have a gigantic group of friends, um, way back, and some of us just kind of got out of touch. Some of us, yeah, you know, even some of my YouTube buddies, I've kind of told you that. Either some forgot, some forgot, some forgot me, and I had to remind one of them. <laughs> It's not slam on you. It's not slam on you, Christine. If you're watching, I'm not trying to slam on you. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. 
You know, you did that one thing. You know, you're a good friend. And, you know, I have friends like, you know, Jack and Roy. I talk to them every now and again when they're on Skype. <laughs> Even though me and Roy had a disagreement a few months ago about me wearing a fedora. You know, a lot of people are on board with me wearing... But a lot of my old friends are on board with me wearing a fedora every video. So I'm like, eh, it's my thing. He's like, maybe we can get you a fed. So I'm like, I don't know, guys. Like, he did say that, but do you think I look good? You think, like, you guys think I would look good in the feds? Just, just ask him, man. I'm just kind of curious about that. Well, I look good in the feds. Or something like that, you know? I don't know, just an accent, but anyways, back to the actual episode. Yeah, so I kind of, I kind of, you know, I'm sad that he's gonna not see his friends for another. He has to wait to see his friends for a whole another summer. You know, but Stephen like says, you know, Onion's real. Like Onion, like like Stephen was like nearing Onion's real sad about his friends, but he remembered all the fun stuff with his friends, and you know he said. And like he still has his old pal Steven. You know, it was, it was a sweet little moment that Onion and Steven kinda had. And I kinda like that. I like I like proving I kinda it proved my point about Onion, you know. He's not a bad or evil character. Even though we like to parody it and we like to we try to, you know, we act like he's evil, but no, nah, he's just a kid that doesn't get a lot of it a lot of attention and and he brought, you know, he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't get to see his friends often. He seems like his only friend, and that's, it's kind of, you know, that's pretty sad. And you know, Steven, Steven don't got a lot of, you know, a lot of kids that talk to him, and you know, we got Petey, we got Petey and Connie, and that's about it. He lies, but you know, Steven makes friends with everybody, but you know, he doesn't have friends that are kind of like equal to him, you know what I mean? And I mean, kind of dead, so I think Steven was like, yeah, I don't really have those friends, you know? Because I'm a gym and a human, I don't really don't got those, I don't got people that, you know, really relate with me, except for kind of other gyms, and even then, they kind of don't. See, it's all about that. It, it was about that to me, and I kind of, again, Again, I kind of felt the sentiments on both sides. <laughs> but, all in all, it was a good episode. And one, you know, good animation. And had my favorite old gag. I ch they revived my favorite old gag from every uh, kid movie and uh, every old and every old cartoon. Which I actually kind of liked. I'll, I'll say this much, the whole Overgoat thing and Bojack Horseman was kind of done to death to the point where I was like, uh, come on now, do you understand the kid, that isn't a man, that is a kid in an overcoat. <laughs> I mean, it was funny for the first few minutes, it was funny for like, man, the first few episodes, and then it just got kind of repetitive. Um, that's the... But that's for another day, and maybe I will talk about, I'll talk about BoJack Horseman, I'll talk about BoJack Horseman, because it's a series I really do like, and it's really, you know, it's really quite interesting, and I think, a show, a show about a horse, not all that interest, you know, a show about an anthropomorphic horse that had a show in the 90s, was, you think that would be kind of weird, but you know what, on this channel I like weird. So yeah, guys, you're gonna get daily Steven. You're gonna get like uh, weekly Steven reviews as long as Steven Universe keeps going, and hopefully it doesn't go into another hiatus this quickly. Because God dang, will I review Teen Titans Go? Oh hell no! I'm sorry, I will never review Teen Titans Go. All their episodes of me just blur, blur, and blend together. But you will probably get a few episodes of, uh, you will probably get a few reviews of, a uh, regular show. And you will probably get a few reviews of regular show. In space! And probably the last few, probably the last season of Gumball with, uh, the creators still on board. 
I don't know what this what Gumball is gonna be after you know the Ben Ben Barquette leaves, but uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that. But hey, hopefully it'll do good. Hopefully they don't try to turn it into Teen Titans Go, the Gumball edition. And yeah, I'm gonna try and review the new Powerpuff Girl episodes too. And you know, actually there is. There the Power of Girls show, they're actually trying, you know. It's, you know, they had a little, it may have had a little misstep, but it's actually trying to get better. And we just need to, you know, we need to give it a little bit of praise, you know. Well, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah. I heard there's a, I heard there's a Flapjack live action movie. I don't know. Because I saw, like, uh, CR. He had like a few videos pulled of him trying to review it with the clips and everything. And I want to see if that actually does exist or was that just a fake. But I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, I might I might even review a uh, I think I already did, but uh, did I? I don't know if I reviewed uh, Johnny Bravo in Dollywood. Did I? I don't recall that I did. Well, either way, that's going to happen, too. So, yeah, more reviews down the pike and more anime reviews down the pike, too. And if High School DxD gets another season, I'm reviewing it. I don't care if it's not popular to you guys. You don't like it because of this, that, and the third. It's still going to get... If there's another season, it will get reviewed. Capiche? And y'all can deal with that any way you want. But if you guys hate me for it, fine hate me for it, but uh, I'll tell you this, more reviews on the way, more, more Paper Mario abridged action, and more stuff on the way, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and tomorrow is Friday, oh my god, guys, I never thought doing, doing classes again would, would just freaking be like this, but now my Fridays actually have, now my old weekends actually have meaning again. You know, back when I wasn't, you know, taking classes, my, you know, my weekends, they didn't have a lot of meaning, but now they do, so. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Also, I was thinking of doing a review on Blood Bacon, Blood and Bacon, so. There's, uh, you know, a game review. See you guys later. Bye, folks.